Hi, Billy Turnbow here with the Cisco TAC Applications team. In this video, I would like to demonstrate the steps for using the Cisco Recovery CD utility. This resource is available for download from the Cisco Product Support website, and it is highly recommended to have the ISO file available within your environment for a variety of reasons. I'll be using the Recovery CD for an IAM and Presence server, but these same steps can be applied for Communications Manager and Unity Connection. Let's first review all the Recovery CD utility can provide. The Recovery CD can swap active and inactive partitions. It can perform file system recovery. It can verify disk partitions. And it can set disk partition alignment. Depending on the version, you may see some differences in this list. But for the purpose of this video, we will focus on the file system recovery option, which is part of any version. The natural question would then be, when should the Recovery CD be used? The Recovery CD should be used in the following scenarios. The server has experienced an ungraceful shutdown event. This is most likely the main scenario that happens due to a power outage or an improper reboot resulting from a power cycle instead of from software controlled command line. You would see this alert displayed from the web administration page. Other scenarios would include the server fails to boot properly or some services fail to start, database or operating system related issues are observed, and any other issues that do not appear to be related to application level functions. To put it another way, the recovery CD would be used for issues related to the operating file system functions and stability. However, it doesn't have to be limited to these situations and it can be used anytime without concern. Now let's step through how to obtain and use the Recovery CD. From the Cisco Product Support site, software downloads are organized by the version of IAM and Presence. You'll notice that some versions show a recovery section under the Presence Server updates, while some versions do not. If you don't see a version that matches the version of your present server, we can also check under the Communications Manager download section as they run the same operating system. Since I have version 12.5.1 in my lab, I will choose the Recovery CD from the Unified Communications Manager section. Once the Recovery CD ISO file has been downloaded, it needs to be mounted to the virtual machine CD drive. These steps vary depending on the host environment but all should look similar. Once mounted, it is important that we find an option in the Virtual Machine Boot parameters to force the machine into the BIOS. Check the Virtual Machine Options menu and look for the Boot Options. There should be a section called Force BIOS Setup. Check the option to tell the Virtual Machine to boot in the BIOS upon a reboot. This will only happen for one reboot, and the option is disabled after that. Now you can reboot the virtual machine and the BIOS should immediately launch. Once in the BIOS configuration, you'll find a boot options menu. If you see that the CD-ROM device is not listed in the boot order, use the minus key to move the hard drive down in the boot order so that the CD-ROM is listed first. Then we simply save and exit the BIOS. If all was configured properly, the recovery CD ISO file should boot and we will see a simple menu like this. For file system recovery, select option F and allow the utility to perform the scan for file integrity. This utility will also correct any errors and provide the output of the process. Once complete, the menu is provided again. At this point, we can either shut down the VM and disconnect the CD-ROM or force boot into the BIOS again to set the boot options back to the hard drive. Once the server has booted normally, Perform any routine checks to verify resolution. For the ungraceful shutdown error, please review the following bug documentation and remove the warning. We find that the Recovery CD tool can often resolve the issues mentioned in this video, but please open a TAC case for further assistance if problems continue. Thank you for watching.